Hello, finally two new models by Campfire Audio made their way to me and I will start with Mammoth. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, recently Campfire Audio decided to release models in pairs, releasing one more natural tuned and second more bassy. And uh, it was so for the previous uh, fruit based release of Satsuma and Honeydew. And it's also true for their new uh, uh, paleontology based releases Mammoth and uh, Holocene. I decided to start with Mammoth. Uh, it's uh, a bit uh, lost in the shadow of more uh, suc successful Holocene because uh, a later one is tuned to be more natural and more oriented towards audiophiles while Mammoth follows this, its name and it's tuned for those who like big sound with mighty bass so I decided to start with it first price is $550 and it's a triple hybrid in ear monitors with big dynamic driver and dual balanced armature here utilize the campfire audio signature technologies like 3d printed internal chamber and uh, they still using their familiar signature design with a slightly new tint of color but at the same time here they in these two new models they've utilized new glow in the dark elements not kind of a big game changer but looks pretty attractive and actually let's have a closer look Package is traditional for the campfire audio, reminds uh, some kind of uh, sweet package or something like that and inside of the paper wrap we will get traditional familiar things box also you'll get manual and warranty card and this time case is made of uh, if I understood right it's uh, the uh, recycled plastic that was uh, uh, gathered uh, in the ocean so this cases is a result of uh, cleaning the oceans from trash and uh, zipper and uh, cam company's logos glows in the dark I can't show it right now because we have uh, I have bright studio lights but uh, it looks uh, fancy with this green tint of uh, glow and inside traditionally one will get ear pieces themselves and that uh, company's signature key uh, bags for storage and you know when you unpacking the campfire audio gear you understand what you'll get in the accessory set so no surprises here manual for the final audio tips cleaning tool three type of tips of course as usual and also signature pin one of the best accessories ever made so here are final audio tips i often use them there i like them most of all and here we'll get forms and regular black silicone tips so here are silicone tips and here are forms so as you can see everything is pretty traditional here even that dust particles that cases left on the table two velcro stripes for cable organization so you know it's like coming home after the long trip you know everything on their places and that's actually pretty nice and in terms of design it's also as you can probably expect that shape the, the, that uh, company carries for quite a long time a bit improved because first uh, earphones with in, the sh in shells of uh, this shape uh, had issues with fit for, for me andromedas and so on but uh, later campfire audio smoothen internal edges improved spouts and now they fitting nicely they are good in wearing they are pretty comfortable and uh, they also looks pretty attractive i'm not sure 
is it will it be visible or not probably no under the bright lights too but connectors also have glow in the dark feature as usual level of work with material is stunning that grill that uh, spout implementation quality of assembly and other stuff is really nice and here used mmcx connectors made of beryllium plated copper traditionally really tightly fitting but still can be disconnected if you pull strong enough and they are clicking back and cable is the traditional smoky lid pretty soft with almost zero microphonic effects some uh, ear hooks are present but no memory wire effect really soft really comfortable good in handling metal splitter with chin slider and goes down to the angle jack and here also use that glow in the dark plastic looks pretty attractive and you will always see where uh, where are your earphones in the night but anyway in terms of design and uh, accessory set package and presentation everything done on the traditional campfire audio level and that level is pretty great and of course about the sound i gave them about 60 hours of burn in there were slight changes during first 10 hours or so bass uh, tightened up a little bit uh, but changes were not drastic so if you don't want to spend uh, time burning them in as a separate process you can skip this stage and start enjoying them let's have a player on the table and i still follow this logic blue earphones for the blue player and in terms of sound it's probably the model that i can call anti-audiophiliac they are tuned to be fun they are tuned to be weighty with warmer sound signature pretty enjoyable but definitely they're not trying to be super technical super natural focused on the micro contrast or something like that they deliver musical warm engaging sound with a bit of intimate representation and in many cases it sounds uh, really pleasant of course so bass is accented accent isn't huge but uh, pretty noticeable above average it's maybe it's not a bass head model uh, not absolutely bass head but it's pretty bassy of course uh, low frequencies go pretty deep and uh, uh, deepest layers of bass are present but at the same time campfire audio decided to uh, trade a bit of uh, speed on the low frequencies uh, in order to get more weight and you'll get uh, pretty weighty low frequencies that gives additional body and additional weight to instruments uh, bit exaggerating their sizes and uh, hiding a little bit small nuances pretty fun experience of course with electronic music and pop music delivering a lot of mass and weight with acoustic instruments sounding normal, pretty, pretty enjoyable, but at the same time, of course, not uh, totally natural. But they not tuned to sound this way. For that purpose, they have actually Holocene, but it will be a matter of uh, next review. And uh, as an example for the low frequencies, I've got uh, Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington in a mellow tone. As in this uh, work they have pretty enjoyable acoustic double bass with, uh, and uh, this earphone slightly boosted it and moves to the, closer to the first stage so making additional accent and it sounds uh, pretty fun and allows you to reevaluate this track uh, in a bit uh, different way paying more attention to the bass line mid frequencies are tuned uh, in the similar way the lower part of uh, mid is tuned uh, with additional weight and mass uh, resolution is uh, uh, normal but of course no, no focus on the micro contrast no attempts to be super technical or super resolving additional weight is present and on the upper mid they have a slight boost that gives that sense of clarity to the female vocal and so on Actually, it's a pretty popular combination. Uh, recently, I met it often, but here earphones that adding even more weight on the lower part of mid frequencies, and it gives that uh, lush and uh, sweet uh, sounding. 
it's not uh, everyone's choice and definitely not the tuning that will fit all genres and all tracks but in many cases i like such signature but of course in other cases i dislike it model is pretty forgiving for the poor recorded uh, material they shows normal dynamics but at the same time not trying to accent it and also not trying to highlight emotions in any way they require uh, properly mastered tracks uh, but uh, not too much not uh, too neat picking and uh, as an example for the mid frequencies i've got notre dame de paris loon uh, really like this uh, uh, musical but of course uh, i definitely recommend listening original version in french language get uh, subtitles get uh, printed libretto with translation but do enjoy the original cast and original performance because all translated versions loses like 30 percent of charm or even more but uh, anyway let's go back uh, and here we are getting a nice male vocal and actually forgot to mention that uh, this model has average stage in width and in depth and they sounding slightly more on the intimate side moving uh, vocals a bit further further and a bit closer to listeners and uh, because of that uh, actually male vocal part in this track sounds uh, pretty engaging but at the same time some orchestral pieces sometimes uh, grab the attention because they have accent on the low frequencies and sometimes that uh, parts of orchestra that goes uh, deep in the bass area uh, moves to the first stage but still pretty enjoyable performance that gives you that sense of big bass and nicely accented uh, vocal and in terms of treble they have a lower part of treble slightly accented but not too much and the uh, upper treble is a bit recessed so in in general it's a comfortable earphones in terms of treble performance but at the same time uh, not over softened not over veiled and actually well tuned to my ears of course it's not super rich super extended uh, treble with layering and tons of overtone saturation they're not uh, tuned to sound this way but uh, also uh, high frequencies balancing low frequencies pretty nicely giving you know, overall nice sense of balance and building proper v-shaped signature but uh, don't expect uh, some superb treble performance but at the same time if you're sensitive to the high frequencies this model most probably will satisfy you and as an example i've got king crimson moon child first album lot of interesting ideas lot of unusual uh, melodic movements and of course lot of different things that goes to the treble area starting with percussions and ending with mellotron and all that stuff is rendered pretty nicely by this model not harsh but at the same time not over softened in terms of pairing they require some natural source of course to in order uh, not to make them over darken or over basic over warmed um, and they are also pretty sensitive so black background will be a plus for them speaking about the compressions actually there is not much uh, models in this uh, price segment that i know with uh, that uh, accent on the weight of low frequencies and with weight emits because traditionally earphones in this segment is are tuned to be more natural faster more resolving and so on but here we, you will get more weight and uh, totally different uh, tuning and uh, actually the closest uh, comparisons is uh, campfire audio on polaris 2 Polaris is more V-shaped with uh, slightly more accented low frequencies and a bit sharper, more focused treble. While here treble is less accented, but at the same time uh, more natural in terms of tuning. Of course, it uh, overpass uh, models like uh, 
honeydew honeydew is uh, slightly faster on the base and a bit more punchy but at the same time uh, mids and treble here is more is better defined and more natural tuned and uh, more expensive models by campfire audio they actually have a pretty lot of different models with uh, dominating or nicely accented low frequencies uh, more high-end models are more natural and more resolving so that's uh, pr probably pretty much it because uh, not many models to be recalled here and to be compared and uh, actually uh, the question uh, about the price to quality ratio it's definitely not the model for everyone and it's uh, probably not the model that will become a huge bestseller because uh, audiophilia community doesn't like this such tunings it's the model for those who like uh, relaxed signature pleasant musical sounding it can um, seasoned audio audiophile can get this model as a second uh, complementary pair but uh, those who don't want to focus on the detailization and want to enjoy music in a more organic and uh, fun way definitely need to uh, check this model out because it's really pleasant and enjoyable and i definitely will uh, return to this uh, earphones time to time listening uh, some of my tracks Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and of course have a nice day.